Now, this is a topic that really is not the most popular topic uh, when people are watching my videos. And it's one of those, probably one of those things that people don't want to hear and athletes don't want to hear. Um, but just because it's not popular doesn't mean I don't say it. I need to say these things. I need to give you the advice, give you those things that are actually going to make you cl get closer to your potential as an athlete. The truth is, as an athlete, you can't just rely on training, getting fit to run your fastest ever and reach capacity like that. You can't do that. It's not possible. It's not just a physical journey training as an athlete. It's a mental one as well. And you need to go on a journey mentally as an athlete to really get better as an athlete and to reach your potential as an athlete or get closer to your potential because in the all the grander scheme of things truthfully you'll never reach your potential it's too far up there and we're always going to do things wrong but with the clo we need to get close as possible to your potential you need to go through a mental journey not just a physical journey you can't reach anywhere close to your potential just by fitness training and that's one thing that a lot of people a lot of athletes can't get their head around and don't feel um, they want to do that either. They always say that I want to train hard. I train hard. You see all these big athletes say, I train hard. This is what it's all about. I train hard, and then they do something that mentally like they don't want to do, and they they say oh, I don't want to go there. A lot of athletes will say I'll go to the ends of the earth to get what I want. I'll train hard. And then when it comes to the mental aspect, and they won't do it because they've got blind spots, as we all have. We've got all got blind spots, and it's basically trying to open up and expose those blind spots is going to open up your body physically to a new to being a new athlete. You've got to be ready to grow as a person to be a, a better athlete. You've got to be able to, and what do I mean by grow as a person, to actually look at your weaknesses, observe your weaknesses, and say, can I do something about those weaknesses? Can I actually, because mental weaknesses that are there to be exposed and to be dissolved. Physical weaknesses are something different. I mean, you can improve them, but you've still got physical weaknesses. But mental weaknesses, you are there to expose them and grow as a person so you can see your weakness. And what weaknesses can we talk about? It's a stressful thing. A certain thought pattern, something, um, a, thought, a thought pattern or certain people that are actually, or type of people that just stress you out and make you less of a person. When you get stressed, you're less of an a person and a less of an athlete. So what kind of things in life stress you out? What kind of things actually, when you think about, puts you in a negative thought pattern that gets you spiraling into a negative thought pattern? Um, what kind of things just puts you in a negative state of mind? And that's what you have to look at and what growth is all about observing those things so you can do it now why is this important it's important because you need to be able to expose those things so you don't let them um kind of invade your training physical training and do not let them invade your competing because you know you should have done your mental physical training all the way up to competing but it's competing it comes down to a mental attitude and a mental way of allowing your body do your stuff and to do that you must know where your weaknesses are mentally and this comes through maybe uh, journaling writing down the actual action of writing down your thoughts actually it gets them down on paper and it kind of re it's almost a kind of a relieving mechanism for your for your mind as well there's that there's also just just observing your thought patterns and this is comes from actually separating yourself from your emotions it's actually se it's separating you and, and understanding that you are not your emotions you're actually you're actually just being you and you're just observing your emotions and the emotions are happening to you and these emotions are kind of going to actually going to benefit you or they're going to actually largely be negative for you and actually going to suppress your abilities as an athlete you must be ready to grow. You must be ready to look at these things. And it's, as I say, it's an unpopular thing that that athletes don't want to hear. And I, I, this is a video that's likely not going to do that well because most people don't want to know this. Most athletes don't want to know this. But it has to be said, it's a mental attitude. It's a mental journey, not just a physical journey. And the mental journey, a lot of athletes just use the physical journey to ignore the mental journey. 
because they they're kind of exposing themselves. They're going into an area that they feel comfortable as an athlete because they're good at it. Where they and by exploring this area, they don't have to. Sometimes they ignore. They use it to ignore other parts of their life where you can't really do that. As an athlete, you've got to be able to expose your weaknesses so they don't, you know, invade your your abilities as an athlete and evade, evade your abilities to relax. This is all it's all about. It's actually growing so you can relax and under pressure as much as possible. Growing so you don't allow the negative mindset that's crippling your, your, your athletic abilities so that you can relax and bring in relaxation, separate yourself from the emotions. So this is something that takes a while and it's 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 something that you know you might take years to get it but it's it's depending how long as an athlete you're willing to go how how much do you feel you're you have a, how much ability do you think you have as an athlete and how long are you willing to explore that ability to stay in the sport long enough to do it, it may take years to really really get it but this is once you actually do this you actually open up more areas of your life and you actually improve other areas of your life so it's not just in athletics, you're, it's, it's a, you're actually improving all areas of your life just to improve your athletic ability or improve your performance. So it's not something that's just going to, once you quit athletics, it's, it, all the stuff that you've learned is useless to you. No, it's not. It's going to actually uh, improve you as an athlete so you can take into other areas. So it's a really a life journey, you know, a life lessons more than anything. Exploring it as it is an athlete to is like exploring life lessons really you're putting yourself out there out of your comfort zone to compete because you're pushing the boundaries and you 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 know you want that outside that comfort zone though that you want that success that's outside your comfort zone you know you want it and that's basically driving you to do this training in the first place and once you do that then you can actually then you actually learn so much about yourself that's going to, as I say, take you into other areas of your life. So really be prepared to, to, to actually put into practice this stuff that I'm talking about throughout the day, not just for your training. If you don't practice throughout the day, it's going to, the life is going to implode upon your training and it's going to implode upon your competition and it's just going to create bad habits. And this is what we can't do. So the first port of call is get in your body and breathe. And that actually separates ourselves from the mind tricks that go on in our mind that are suppressing us. Remember, when in the stressful negative thoughts, we are always weaker. We are always tighter. And our power output when we run is always really hampered when these, these thoughts come in. OK, so hope this video gives a better understanding. Please like, please share, please subscribe to this channel, because as you can see, you're not going to you're getting information that you don't get from many other athletics channels, track and field channels or any sports channels at all. So uh, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.